This is Bear's Den Bathhouse, uh, one of the prominent sites along the Antonine Wall. It sits across the road from Bear's Den Baptist Church. And the Baptist Church actually sits on top of the Roman fort that was here. So the granary building and the headquarters are featured uh, in their site. Involving community groups has been very important to us in the project. It's all about raising awareness of the wall. And what better way to do that than to involve the communities living along the length of the wall. Initially, we undertook extensive community consultation. So we ran community consultation events along the length of the wall, speaking to communities. We also consulted with local school children, primarily around the themes of the play parks. We then followed this up with more in-depth consultations, so we generated a series of project ideas and fed those back for further consultation and development by the communities. We started our community projects by working directly with Bearsden Baptist Church. They came to us with an idea for a series of interpretation projects within their garden. The first of these was a mosaic that was to be designed by the local community and to have a Roman theme. The church in particular wanted to raise awareness of the fact that their site was on top of the Roman fort and also to raise awareness of the facilities that they have in the garden and in the church. When they approached us, they were really looking for some professional support in terms of procurement and project development, but they already had proposals in, in place and we've worked with the group over a couple of years now to help them turn their ideas into reality. Other community organisations that we have worked with come to us with less well-developed ideas. So they may approach us looking to do something to raise awareness of the wall in their area, or we may have approached them through consultation, and we've worked with them also to develop project ideas. We connected with the Antonine Wall project through a presentation that the team gave um, just here in Bearsden um, where they were saying they were looking for community partners who were interested in developing ideas about uh, the Antonine Wall and investigating their site and that was very much where we were coming from as a garden group wanting to find out more and make the Roman heritage on our site more visible. Then we were eventually successful in getting uh, funding for one of their community projects. The mosaic was one of the first things that we did as part of the project and the whole idea behind it really is to show some of the things that the Romans ate and the, and the, and the flowers that they cultivated, the things that they brought with them. So we know they brought figs and they imported wine and um, lots and lots of things from all across Europe ended up here in Bear's Den, which is really quite amazing. We've been able to make that link between the bathhouse and this part of the fort, um, which has been really great. And also the children have enjoyed understanding more about the Roman heritage. We've been able to have lots of fun in the garden, being Roman soldiers, thinking what it was like to live back in those times, being able to make links with local schools. Um, other, everyone's interested in the Romans and the heritage in Bear's Den, so it's a lovely opportunity to tell stories. and. We're recreating a woodland sound garden um, to kind of show what the sounds might have been like on the fort at this time. And we're also creating a granary garden, again, just to reflect the fact that we had the granaries and the whole kind of ecological finds that, finds that they found here. So over in the bathhouse, they analysed the sewage and they found the different things that the Romans ate. Um, and they also found different um, flora and fauna and flowers that are around at the time. So we've been able to um, do an art project to get people to draw some of the flowers and the fruits and the things that they found. Um, so it's opened up a whole load of um, different opportunities and connections with different community groups that we wouldn't have known about had we not met with the Antonine Wall Project team. Here on Croy Hill we have the remains of a Roman fort and the Antonine Wall and behind us here we have a large Roman head sculpture that's been created as part of rediscovering the Antonine Wall. The sculpture has been named Sylvanus which reflects the god of the woodlands and that was as a result of a local naming competition. Putting a large sculpture in here and we've got a similar one going in at Lamb Hill stables at a later date. Um, they 
really offer regeneration and placemaking as part of the project. So the local community in Croy were looking for their own type of regeneration project for the area. Um, the sculpture that's gone in here has already received so much publicity and positivity on social media and it's really highlighting the fact that the Antonine Wall runs through the village of Croy and, and the local area and we're very hopeful that some of the outcomes from this will be that more visitors from further afield will, will come and visit the Antonine Wall as a result of the sculpture being here. We are trying to develop community projects in every local council area. So each time we are looking for community groups who are interested in the Antonine Wall so that we could then help them implement new projects, be it conferences, sculptures, guided tours or anything like that. So we were looking for projects um, in North Lanarkshire, working with local communities, and we were put in contact with a local women's group. Uh, we went to meet them and through the discussions we realized they were interested in more the different history of the Antonine Wall, so just not focusing on the soldiers and the men, but on the women who lived there at the time and on the women who were locally involved in the history. So with International Women's Day arriving, we decided to do a conference with them. It was a lot of organising, big event, um, so they met their challenges head on. They loved it, they just love being about people, they love gathering uh, the community together. Getting the chance to talk to people in the community about the area um, and the opportunities that are out there for people if they want to just take that wee step and join in. You know, people in the area, they do take pride in their area, they know a lot of the history and trying to give them the opportunity to get the stories that they know out as well and also to uh, keep growing um, the knowledge for those who don't know and to let them see things that they can take an interest in and be a part of. During that conference, of course, the focus was on women but we also knew that people were interested in more of the local population, so we decided to create a range of characters based on names we found on the walls. So we worked with an artist to create those characters and also with uh, academics to be sure that everything from the clothing to the posture was right. Those will be used in education materials, uh, information panels and to engage with people. So as part of the project, we decided to create the 21st Century Legion of Volunteers. That started in 2019. Um, and one of the focuses of the volunteers was to do guided tours so that volunteers could develop skills that they could then reuse and transfer the knowledge to their local communities and maybe tourists coming from further away. So we had our first training session in August 2019 um, and giving tips how to organize a guided tour, giving out um, scripts and helping them create a tour, a bespoke tour that would include Roman history but also local knowledge that a volunteer would have of his or her area. So we decided to take our volunteers down to Hadrian's Wall to meet with tour guides who are already doing that kind of volunteering project so that they could see how they organize tours and their experience of that. So it was really developing skills and giving them the confidence to then come out here and do their own tours. I trained with the Antonine Wall Project as a 21st century legionnaire, which basically means that I can gain knowledge about the fort, uh, read various books about Roman history, so I just became more enthused about it, finding out that this was, is actually part of a World Heritage Site, along with Hadrian's Wall and the German Leams. Uh, but this was the northernmost part of the Roman frontier. So having local volunteers make them ambassadors of the local heritage, and they will then spread the word and help preserve the monument and engage with it.